Jonathan Kegg is joining us now. Speaking of sunscreen, for those who are yeah. heading out today, you know, wearing that sunscreen, what type of weather can they expect? Load it up, soak it in. There's going to be a lot yeah. of sun today, especially early on. Once we get into the latter stages of the afternoon, that's where we're going to look for more widespread thunderstorms to try to develop. There'll be a few little downpours pop in once we get beyond lunchtime, but I don't think they're really going to inconvenience your plans too much early on. Different story, though, later this evening, if you are planning on grilling out for dinner time or 6, 7 o'clock in that time frame, I'll show you what I'm talking about in just one second. Right now, though, nice clean sweep across the board. If you're heading to church or breakfast, you are good to go. We are watching for the opportunity for a little bit of fog. We've been checking the visibilities for you all morning long, and we are starting to see them suffer a little bit. I want to turn on the fog tracker program here. The satellite can differentiate between just regular high clouds and then some fog. So the key what we're looking for now is that yellow color start popping? Popping up that little gray film on the screen there that's representative of that some of those mid to high level clouds out there so the good thing is the fog tracker not picking up too much in the way of any kind of fog out there as the sun comes up this morning we're going to take a live look now in Brevard County love this shot here's a live look in Brevard County at Port Canaveral with our launch credit union camera this morning we have air temperatures across the board in the upper 60s and lower 70s as we will continue to take a look across uh, central Florida here a nice muggy start to the morning. Now this is becoming typical. Good morning in the villages. We are at 71 degrees, 72 for us in Melbourne, Kissimmee. We are checking in at 75. And with the addition, with the later onset, I should say, of these showers and thunderstorms, we're going to get a little hotter today. More of us getting into the upper 80s along the coast, lower 90s inland. Watch the later start time. Here is lunch. For the most part, I think we're dry. There will be a few straight downpours to see future clouds and rain showing that right there, but they are going to be few and far between. Really not going to slow you down too much. Once we get towards 4 o'clock, that's when we're going to start to look a little bit for uh, more scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially along I-95. Watch what happens. 6, 7 o'clock this evening, more storms start to fire up, especially west of Orlando, west of Palm Coast, closer to us along the I-75 corridor. A few stray downpours in the mix around Orlando. And then that flare-up kind of pushes and drifts back to the south and east. This is going to be the same kind of storm motion we see tomorrow. Speaking of which, look what happens tomorrow. I think we start things off dry. Meteorologist Troy Bridges are going to be pinpointing a little bit of patchy fog tomorrow morning. So I want you to be aware that that's going to be there. But look at once we get after lunchtime. Those storm chances start to fire back up. And then this is what I want you to pay attention to tomorrow evening. There's 5, 6 o'clock, commute home for work. Look at that. Some rocking storms, especially, again, northwest of I-4. Heads up again to that tomorrow. Speaking of which, tomorrow, again, once you're driving home from work, things could be a little rocking. We're designating tomorrow as an inconvenient weather day because of the widespread nature of those thunderstorms. Also, a few of these could be on the stronger side tomorrow. We are not looking at a widespread opportunity for severe weather, but we do have a cold front that's going to be sinking down from our north that's going to help to give a little bit more oomph to the atmosphere tomorrow. This front does not cross us. We're not going to cool down by any means, but nonetheless, with that front there, that's going to act as another focal point for the opportunity for stronger thunderstorms. You see that green outline there. That's the Storm Prediction Center risk. It's marginal. It's not zero, but every now and then one of those storms or two of those storms could get a little rowdy. So that is going to be something that we're going to be pinpointing for you tomorrow, again, later on into the afternoon, into the evening. The other thing that you are going to notice here is going to be how rainy it is this week. Look at that. Monday, storm chances go back up to 70%. We'll keep those elevated storm chances really all the way through Thursday. We talked about the optimism before, if you've been watching over the past two hours, that I do think if you have outdoor plans, Memorial Day, going to any memorial services, that those rain chances, Jerry, look like they're going to dial back down a little bit more heading into next weekend. That's right. We're being optimistic. That's right. We're being positive. Absolutely. Thank you now. You got it.